Hi kids, it's Bunny again with another junk journal and this time uh, here's the plan. <clears throat> Excuse me. If uh, this runs out, uh, stops recording before I'm finished, I will make a part two because I can't get the edited stuff to load up into YouTube. Anyway, uh, this will be part one and there will be a part two if I don't finish. So anyway, this journal is peacock themed and it has lots of pretty lace and a pink silk sash holding it together. It's very chunky and pretty fabric and this one is uh, a rounded spine which should enable you to lay it flat to write in it so they say so let's dive right in wish I had my glasses I can't see okay <laughs> inside the cover is a um, tuck with a journaling card journaling cards are all blank on the back so you can journal on them and there's another one the lovely peacock and there's also a little uh, a little note from me in the front letting you know what a junk journal is and how it can be used in case you're not familiar with such an animal <coughs> excuse me Oh, the um, pretty peacock pages are from Sojourner Journals in at, at Etsy, and that was hard to say. And here's another pocket with a little peacock feather picture, and more journaling cards. And a tag, all the tags are also blank on the back for journaling. And this is a vintage postcard. Um, it is, let's see, from, looks like 1914. Mr. F to Mr. Fred Gant of Lynnhurst, South Carolina. That's a... Uh, Authentic vintage ephemera. We have little clusters here and there for decoration. And there's some cute polka dot paper, and I put lace on the edges of some of the pages. This is a vintage, authentic vintage sheet music for you alone. I'm not familiar with that particular song. And here is a vintage photograph of a man and I'm not sure what he's sitting on and what he's doing. Maybe you can figure it out. And here's some wallpaper. There's some handmade paper. It's so soft when you feel it. It's so nice. And this is um, vellum on which I printed some pretty pictures. <clears throat> and I tried to leave a lot of blank pages for you to write on. Uh, in this pocket, there is a tiny envelope with some teeny tiny journaling cards and another journaling card and another tag. And this particular pocket unfolds so that you can have a whole sheet of paper to uh, write upon and it folds very easily back together she said let's see if I can do it yes very easily okay moving on here is um, a page from a vintage book uh, about Audubon's America and 
here uh, in the center I have a large pocket and over here is um, a peacock napkin decoupaged onto some sheet music and in the big pocket there's big bigger journaling cards and there's a little miniature notebook for you to write in. It's got a miniature bag with ephemera in it and a miniature pocket in the front. And this is a vintage authentic love letter from 1921. And uh, it's very sweet and you'll enjoy reading that. more vellum and handmade paper um, this pocket is actually a flip you could flip it up and write on here and inside it are some beautiful journaling cards and this is a um, little greeting card I believe the date is from 1921 and it's got a little writing on the back it's very sweet very delicate more sheet music vintage on this tuck there's more journaling cards and this is a uh, authentic vintage envelope from I think it's 1892. I think that's what it says. It doesn't have anything inside, but it's um, got a cool little stamp on it. Moving on <clears throat> to the next signature. Here we have a vellum pocket and inside are a couple of uh, real peacock feathers. I won't take them out. You can take them out if you like, but you know, they're not that easy to get back in, so I won't take them out. And in this tuck, there's a beautiful journaling card and a giant tag. Lots of room for writing on. There's some more of the uh, vintage book pages. In this little bag here, we have a little vintage photograph and a tiny journaling card. And here we have a belly band and it has journaling cards. And this one uh, Looks like something you can cut out and make your own um, peacock out of. And a doily. More vintage music. And it's a pretty little button. Here's a page out of children, uh, vintage children's book about the alphabet. And here's another pocket or tuck with uh, journaling cards. And another vintage envelope. And this one, I'm not sure what year it's from. Let's see. 1886. Some 18 very old 1886 envelope. Um, Deals corundum tool, whatever the heck that is. Okay, moving on. I like this lace a lot. In this tuck, more journaling cards.
and a tag. And here's a little bag with the uh, little journaling cards and a um, vintage playing card. Love the daisies. And here's another one of those pockets that unfolds into a sheet of paper. I will unfold it since you saw how it worked before. Here's a tiny little envelope. It's got a tiny, it's got two tiny little journaling cards in it. Teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny. And regular journaling cards. And a pretty tag. Here's some more uh, wallpaper. More handmade paper. More vellum. Crinkles nicely. Um, here is a little um, glassine envelope with a couple of little journal cards in it. Flowers from the Peacock's Garden. That's the actual name. It's Peacock's Garden, not just Peacock. And in this tuck, there's a lady uh, wearing peacock feathers on her head. And a Vogue cover. A lady riding a peacock. I wouldn't suggest doing that in real life. And a tag. And this is some more vintage uh, authentic ephemera. It's a um, receipt um, for powdered sugar and blue tip matches. Sounds like a fun time. More music paper. Okay, there's another one of those large pockets. This is a decoupage napkin on uh, music paper. And in this large pocket, there are... There's a journaling card. And there's another miniature notebook. And there's two of these. These are um, pictures you can color. And colorful peacock makes a good coloring subject matter. And here's another one of those little flips you can write in. It's got a little glassine envelope with little uh, cards in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. More journaling cards and another tag. More um, vellum paper. Handmade paper. Old book. Wallpaper. And in this tuck um, this is this is an actress from days of old wearing um, a peacock themed dress, and I've forgotten her name, Theta Barra, I think Theta Barra. And here's another journaling card and tag, and another vintage envelope from 1907. And they all have really neat stamps on them. Okay, another signature. And here we have um, a little envelope and it has some journaling cards in it. Journaling cards. There's so many different pictures of peacocks out there. It's fascinating. 
Here's another bag. It's got um, crocheted flower on it, tea stained. And here's another vintage photograph, authentic, little tiny thing. And another small envelope with some journaling cards inside. And here's another tuck with journaling cards. And a tag. And here's some more of that <clears throat> vintage children's book with alphabets on it. Another doily. There's pretty pages. Here's a, a tuck with a white peacock. Stunning. And just a little thing about moon water tonic. I don't know. It's just something that I cut out that I thought was cute. More old book pages. More of the children's page. There's some pretty uh, rose edging. There's another bag with another old vintage photograph in it in a journaling card and this tuck more peacocks and a lady with a peacock fan and a tag and this is a piece of um from a silk sari which you could use as a bookmark if you like it's just a really pretty piece of little fabric And here's the back. Shall we make it? Another miniature notebook and journaling cards made by me. And that's it. And we made it. And that's the end. And I hope you like it. And I hope you'll visit my shop, Treasure Journals on Etsy, and check it out. Thank you. Bye-bye.